Hi, it's Yeni. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a challenge that I kind of set for myself. Um, it's basically using one handbag for a month or 30 days. Kind of use it every day for a month to see kind of what I think about the bag after that month. Um, the reason I wanted to do this challenge is because um, I feel like there are quite a few bags that are sat in my collection that I don't reach for and there's always reasons where I feel like oh but this bag is going to be annoying or this one doesn't have a strap and or, or it's raining so I, I always reach for a different bag instead um, and then over time I thought rather than just always wanting to buy a different bag thinking oh this will solve the problem I thought um, if I just use the bags that I actually have or not used for a while and then see if I would fall back in love with it or maybe at the end of the month I would fall out of love with that bag then I can actually have a think about whether I want to keep that bag or maybe it's time to let it go and actually fund a new bag that I would actually use so I'm going to share with you using one handbag for a month and kind of my thoughts and the outcome so the bag I picked is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in the Damier Azor it's the classic style so it's not the bandolier so it doesn't have the strap um, and I do find that I don't reach for this bag as much as I want to um, mainly being because it rains a lot and I'm always very worried about kind of getting water marks on the bag and generally because it's only a top handle bag and I always feel like oh what if I need to be hands free or um, what if it's too big and heavy to carry when I'm going to this place or that place so I generally feel like I've not been reaching for this bag as much as I want to. So I got this bag in 2015 and um, the patina is kind of starting to darken a little bit especially now that I've used it for a month um, but over the last few years before deciding to do um, the challenge um, I kind of had this bag just sat in the wardrobe and it's dust bag and I don't want to sell it like I really like it I love it I love how it looks and um, I went to London with my brother and we kind of picked it out together so it kind of feels very special and I don't really want to get rid of it um, but I just wasn't reaching for it so I thought I'm just going to use it for a month um, and see what I think after so I have enjoyed using this bag um, I've been taking it to work it fits everything I need um, to take to work and a little bit more um, I wish it was a little bit bigger because I do take my lunch and I take a lot of water to work with me and my coffee in the morning and I feel like having all the stuff that I need to take on a daily basis um, all the extra things don't actually fit into this bag so I do have to take another kind of tote bag or carrier bag just to take my lunch and water etc so in a way that can be a con but then if I want to carry everything then I would need probably a luggage or a suitcase but I do like that if I don't need to take the lunch with me or when I'm going somewhere else after work that I can just take this and everything fits plus extra. I do use it with the Samorga bag organiser inside um, because it's not so much keeping it in shape but for finding things. Um, I like being able to just throw everything in the bag but I don't like spending kind of a lot of time looking for something especially because I only use a card holder as a wallet so in this big bag it kind of gets lost and it's very annoying when you get to the tier when you want to pay and then you're just like looking and looking and and this starts to get a little bit heavy because I'm trying to hold my shopping and hold this bag and trying to look for my car to pay so that's kind of um, the annoying thing of being a top handle bag and I've definitely noticed like not having a strap when I go to the supermarket is very annoying um, because I have to either hold it um, in my hand or have it in the crook of my arm like this but I don't always have a trolley when I go shopping sometimes I have a basket so I have to hold this bag in the crook of my arm and then hold a basket as well and also my phone because I scan the items and then put it in my carrier bag so I feel like I'm stuck and I can't I don't have a free hand to look at anything and after a while it definitely gets really heavy having this bag on one arm as well as the carrier bag with shopping that's kind of the only really annoying time that I wish I had a longer strap um, but other than that if it's just going to work or just going out day to day I don't mind it's just a top handle bag as I mentioned I think because it's such a light colour and the patina was light I was always worried about using this bag in the rain and we do get lots and lots of rain here luckily when I decided to use this bag for a month which was in kind of January time slash February time um, it didn't rain too much so yeah that was lucky but if I were to do it this month <laughs> it's pretty much rained every day or on and off raining like every day um, so I'm, I'm quite lucky that it wasn't the month I was doing it um, but then also I thought if I got rained on 
and I had watermarks maybe I would worry about it less and actually use it more but that kind of didn't work out because the weather was dry throughout the month I was using this bag another thing that I didn't like using this bag is when it has been very cold in January sometimes and I wear a big coat or very very thick kind of clumsy coat um, it's really hard to feed the uh, my arm through the handles when I have a big coat um, it does get in the way and it gets really annoying and because I wear a watch on one side so it kind of yeah gets caught on things and it's just after a while it gets a bit uncomfortable um, so I don't think this bag is good even though the colour and the pattern is nice for the winter I just don't think a top handle speedy like this is good for the winter for that reason just because it's just very clunky and just annoying this bag's definitely patinaed in the month i was using it every day um and i love that it's kind of getting a little bit darker now i think after the month of using it i do worry about it a little bit less um the shape has held up really well um even though when i said i used the samorga bag organizer wasn't to kind of hold its shape um i like slouchy bags and i do like vintage speedies when it's all really soft and mushy so i don't mind it that it doesn't hold its shape but it actually has held up really well i do store it stuff with air paper um so that's probably why it's keeping its shape really nicely the other reason i probably wouldn't use this bag as much in the winter is because normally i wear a lot of dark clothing like today <laughs> it's even more so in the winter i wear a lot of dark clothes black clothes and i feel like this kind of stands out a lot and it makes the bag look quite big in my opinion because of the white kind of contrast against me it just looks like a really big bag I do prefer this on a sunny day or in the summer um, so I probably wouldn't use it as much in the winter so after a month of using this bag every day um, I definitely haven't fallen out of love and I'm definitely keeping it especially now with the prices going up so insanely it's absolutely crazy how much the prices have gone up i think this one now cost more than twice as much as when i first bought this bag so um i don't think i'll get rid of it just in case i want to repurchase it in the future and it's crazy money also i like the quality of the older cameras i've not purchased a brand new louis vuitton recently so i don't really know what the quality is like now um but i do still hear people say the quality was better before and now it's kind of not as good so i don't want to risk it and sell it and then kind of regret it so um i will be keeping this bag and um, i'm glad i did this one month one bag challenge or one bag for 30 day challenge <laughs> i probably will do it with some other bags that i have in the wardrobe that hasn't been touched for a little while to see if i will fall back in love or fall out of love like i said um so yeah it's been very interesting um to do this to actually find out um if i would what to keep it or sell it let me know what you thought of the idea of using one handbag for 30 days and whether you like to join me and do it as well um, please let me know if you do because i'll be very interested to watch it as well because i personally thought it was very interesting for me to do myself and i thought it might be interesting to share it with you as well so do let me know your thoughts on this and um, if there are any bags in my collection you want to see me do the 30 day challenge again let me know but thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye